future teachers, uh, so this time uh, we are going to answer one of the questions that I have posted in our uh, social learning group in Facebook. So this question is a general education question. Specifically, it is a mathematics question. So the question is, uh, what is the amount due on 10,000 pesos after adding the annual interest of 12% for five years? Is it A, 14,000, B, 15,500, C, 13,500, or is it D, 16,000 pesos? Okay, so in answering um, any question uh, in the licensor examination, it is very important that you have to understand first the question. Dapat nakasabot ka kung Ano yung tanong? Okay? So, uh, if we are going to read back the question, the question is asking kung pila daw ang imuhang mabayran, no? Sulod sa lima katuig, kung mangutang ka o gismail na naay 12% um, interest. Okay? So, note that this question is a simple interest question. So, dagan mga ingani magawa sa, sa let. And then, the other type of question is kiniang about interest is compound interest niya computation. But for this question, it is a simple interest computation. Now, balik ta sa atong question. Again, pilak daw ang imuhang mabayaran. Sulod sa lima katuig. Kung mangutang ka o 10,000 nga na ay interest or tubo nga 12% annual interest. When we say annual, um, it's, it means every year or kada tuig. So kada tuig, ang gismail mutubo siya o 12%. Okay? So ang pangutan na is pila daw tanan ang imong mabayad sa gismail nga imong giutang with a 12% interest human sa lima katuig. Okay? So, uh, in, in answering questions like this, or in mathematics, uh, though I am not a, a mathematics major, uh, a teacher, I have, I have my ways on answering questions. So, uh, for this question, I can answer this question in two ways. Okay? The first one is, I will get first the 12% of 10,000. Okay? That is the one year or annual interest ng 10,000. After that, I will multiply it to 5. It's because 5 years. Okay? So, pag makuha ko na yung interest ng 5 years, i-add ko na yung answer dun sa 10,000. And that is the final answer. Now, the first, um, ang first na gagawin mo dito is uh, to get the 10% of, uh, uh, I mean the 12% of 10,000. So you have to multiply 10,000 into 12%. So before that, you have to convert 12% into a decimal um, number. Okay? So 12 divided by 100, that is 0 0.12. Okay? So na convert mo na yung 12% into decimal. So, i-multiply mo na itong 0 0.12 sa 10,000 to get the 12%. Okay, so 10,000 times uh, 0 0.12, that is 1,200. Now, this 1,200, this is now the um, one-year interest or tubo ng 10,000 na hinila mo. Okay, 10,000, that is the 12... Uh, percent annual interest ng 10,000. But since babayaran mo yung 10,000 within 5 years, so, imumultiply mo ang 1,200 into 5. So, that is 6,000. Now, in this 6,000, ito na yung interest or tubo ng 10,000 in 5 years. Okay? In 5 years na ha, there's a typographical error here. So, this 6,000 is the 
uh, interest or tubo ng 10,000 uh, for 5 years. 12% ng 10,000 for 5 years. Now, let's go back again to the question. Nanguta na ang, pa, ang question o pila ang imong mabayran tanan. No? Sa imuhang giutang plus ang 5 years na 12% annual interest. Now, nakuha na to ang 12% uh, uh, annual interest for 5 years. Ang ato na buha to is to add this to yung kapital niya mag utang which is the 10,000. So, 10,000 plus 6,000, that is 16,000. So, that is the final answer of this question. Now, the other way na ako asyang i-compute this question is uh, I will multiply the 12% annual interest into 5. It's because lima siya ka to 8. Okay? So, 12 times 5 and then after that is i-multiply na ko siya into 10,000 to get the 5 years interest of 10,000. After that, i-add na ko siya sa 10,000 ang answer ato and that is the final answer. Now, 12% times 5 because 5 years is 60%. So, yung inutang mo na 10,000 uh, for 5 years, nitubo siya og 60%. Kaya lima man mo katuig bago siya gibayaran. Now, to get the 60% of 10,000, i-multiply ni mo siya. But first, you have to convert a 60% into decimal para ma-multiply ni mo siya into 10,000. So, that is 60 divided by 100. And that is 0 0.60 or 0 0.6. Okay. So, 0 0.60 uh, I, I multiply na nimo siya into 10,000 para makuha ni mo ang 5 years nga interest sa 10,000. So 10,000 times 0 0.60 that is 6,000. Ito na yung um, 12% annual interest ng 10,000 for 5 years. So after that, i-add mo na yan into 10,000 and that is 16,000. That's it. That's the final answer for this um, simple interest computation question in mathematics. So that's it. Thank you for listening and I hope uh, you have learned something from this video. Goodbye.